Hello everybody and welcome to some Total War Shogun 2 in the fall of the Samurai campaign that we streamed just the other day as uh, the Satsuma. We're the Satsuma clan, now we're the Imperial Vanguard, but we used to be the Satsuma clan. So uh, we streamed this campaign on uh, on YouTube and now I decided to make it a let's play. Um, I don't really know if we're going to stream it and play for it forever, but I do enjoy this campaign. So I do want to continue and see how much we can do, how much we can, we can actually successfully play. Um, in this campaign, and so let's jump right into it. So, uh, here we are being sieged out of this this city here. Um, this guy here, who is this? This is Josai. So this is uh, one of the Shogunate's most loyal factions. We're being sieged out, so we're gonna go ahead and auto resolve this because I'm not gonna win this. We're gonna die. We're gonna die. We killed uh, 111. We lost a thousand men. So we're gonna go ahead and. Um, Siege down Bungo. This is this is a city of Bungo. Let's go and take a look here. Okay, so we lost the settlement here, and uh, I'm actually not sure. Did we make a lot of money from that place? I'm not actually sure. We're making a lot of money now, actually. So we're gonna go siege this down. We have a very very veteran army. We have uh, an army with parrot guns. We've got sharpshooters, line infantry, saber cavalry. These guys are all veteran and fully good to go. So what we need to do first is. We probably need to get some more troops up here to, um, to Busan. I'd, I'd love to get some more soldiers over here. So, uh, sorry about that. My phone is going off like crazy. Uh, let's see. I got a couple agents out here, actually. Who's this guy? This is an Ishin Shishi? Ooh. Saga's my vassal. We want to attack Fukue, and then there's this other guy here, Tsushima Fuchu. We want to attack these guys. They're, they're islands, actually. So we want to attack those dudes. And then, uh, let's take a look here. But where did I get this ancient Shishi from? I'm actually wondering, where did I get him from? Hmm. These guys increase their tax rate, right? Yeah, I believe so. Uh, I believe they do if they have veterancy, right? Either that or it just improves... I think it just improves our loyalty, actually. I mean, most of these territories are actually pro-emperor anyway, so... Let's take a look at our settlements. Who makes the most money for me? Sukushi uh, and then Hisen. Hisen's the second one. Okay, so why don't we just put... Let's actually go ahead and take one of these guys. Let's put him in uh, in Sukushi. That sounds good. Rally the populace. Yes! Thank you. Yeah, he'll be there the next turn. It's fine. Oh, there he is. Oh, he went in there. Okay. So we have... Um, yeah, we, we have some structures that we can upgrade, but I really... What I really want to focus on is a navy. So I want to grab a naval force, and I actually want to engage the navy of, of the Shogun and move troops over here. So this, uh, let's see, where is this guy actually? Holy crap, he, he came from really far away. So this army here is Josai, and Josai is all the way here in Sagami. So he sailed a fleet all the way, all the way across Japan, all the way over here to Sagami. From, or from Sagami, so we need to get some ships to sail an, an opposing army over that way. I really want to do that. This army is going to go down without a fight. Really, those guys are not my concern at all. So let's come over here. We have a military port coming in uh, in four turns with copper-plated ships. I do think it might be worth it to grab maybe a couple more wooden ships because I do need ships like right now. I would really prefer for some ships like right now, but eh, you do what you can with what you have. In fact, we will actually probably wait for this military report. Four turns, we can start recruiting some ships and then just kill everybody. Let's come over here. Uh, Satsuma... Or this is Sakushi here, so we're blockaded here too. It's not really worth training ships here, so... It's expensive anyway. Let's go and take a quick look around here. We have some magistrates, some police stations. Um, I do want to upgrade this location here. This is my, my main settlement. It's I want to get a fortress here for the repression. I want to upgrade this market to our financial district. That's, this will give us a lot of money. And I want to get an artillery school here. We should do that soon. We should do that very, very soon. Because um, this location here has an ironworks. This gives plus 10 accuracy to all units recruited here. And I, I think I can even improve that even more. Yeah, plus 20 to the accuracy here. Or I can get an armor, which gives me plus 10 to the accuracy, but plus 4 armor to all units here. Wow, that's really good. Actually, I do like armor as well. But here in Fall of the Samurai, with a Fall of the Samurai campaign, I'd pick armor... Probably second to accuracy. Accuracy is much more important, I believe. 
We can get a trading port here in Osumi. That's also probably worth it because we already have a military port. Getting a trading port would allow us to establish trade routes with, with Western powers. So I'll take that as well. I kind of spent all of, uh, spent all of our money. Um, that's good. That's fine for now. Actually, I think that's fine. Um, we'll improve that stronghold and get get a large city. Get another recruitment slot there in the future. Um, in fact, it might even be, it might even be worth it to get because this has an iron smelting plant here in Higo. It might be worth it to actually build instead of maybe this gambling den. It might be worth it to build an artillery school here. Maybe. Maybe it would be. Possibly. Because of this deep seam coal mine, it also would make sense to get a military port here, if that's possible. If I can recruit... Uh, yeah, let's actually go ahead and repair that then, if that's the case. Let's try to improve this and get some, get some ships going. We're at peace now with Choshu. We're actually allied to him now, so I don't have to worry too much about that. What else can I trade with? Already trading, already trading. Uh, Fikul is hostile. Let's trade with Metsui. Do you want to give us money? No. One more zero. Yep. Yeah, there we go. Come on, give me some cash. Ah, damn it. You want to give me fifty do fifty gold? 50 gold. No, man. Demand payment. Sweet. I wish have you listened to my So we are, we are very, very rich and we have moderate power. So we should try and become more powerful. <laughs> That'd be very, very nice. We want to ally with basically all the Imperials if I can get it. And we want to kill all of the Shogunate people. So, obviously, Josiah owns this. These two guys we need to kill. So, getting some ships here, sailing them to attack these two dudes would be would be smart. We're going to get, we're going to get this uh, abolition of land restriction, minus 10% to cost constructing farms across all provinces. Okay. Sounds good. Let's go ahead and end the turn there. Let's attack Josiah. Hopefully, he doesn't really escape from Bungo. doesn't go anywhere. Tosa, they want an alliance. Sounds good. That's fine. It's fine. An alliance is fine. Yeah, we're going to be battling the Shogunate now. We need to uh, kind of hurry up with, with our war. We do want to go over there and occupy some territory with the Shogunate, or from the Shogunate. We want to occupy a lot. Let's see, eager to serve a general? I don't think I need another general right now, possibly in the future. Let's take a look here. What do I want? Imported guns. Modern rifles? Yes. Let's get some modern rifles. That sounds good. Let's come over here. Let's siege down this city here. Bullshit, dude. Look at that balance of power. It's such bullshit. I can easily defeat this guy. Bow key, Shogatai. These guys are going to be difficult if we... Yeah, we don't want to get into hand-to-hand -hand combat with these guys. Yarikachi, and then these are all levy infantry. These guys do not concern me. Kisho Ninja, the Bokachi, we can easily defeat these guys. He's got more men and everything, but he doesn't even have artillery. We're going to we're gonna starve him out. Four turns until surrender? That's fine with me. Oh, man, you can wait all you want. I'm not concerned. So we're going to get a military port, deep sea, coal mine here, and then uh, we still have the police station, we have a craft workshop on the way. Uh, actually, it, it really would be a good idea to get some ships up here. I'm actually really excited for that. So, and then we should just definitely focus on economics where we can, um, where it's possible. I just want to make sure I have a lot of money coming in to the Empire right now. Um, any other people we're trading or anything like that? Okay. So yeah, if even if I need to possibly come through... Choshu with military access to start invading some of these guys? That probably is not a bad idea. Um, let's see, what's our objective? We need to own... Preferably Musashi. And Sagami's right here, so if we take over Sagami and move into Musashi, that's perfect. But we need to have a nice fleet to transport, like, one or two stacks over there. So we'll have to build up some forces. Let's end the turn here. Probably just gonna end this turn... End these turns pretty quickly until we can, uh... See, I knew these guys would attack me. Okay. Let's go ahead and fight this battle. We're gonna fight this battle on the battlefield. Um, we've got we've got way of an advantage, dude. We have artillery. We've got everything we need. They're gonna come after me. This looks like pretty flat flat terrain. Fat terrain. This looks like pretty flat terrain. Should be fine. Should be okay. The Shogunate is, a, is run by a band of fools divorced from reality. Possibly.
you know, believe it or not, I actually do think I want to take this hill. Um, I'd love to put some sharpshooters up there if I can get it. Artillery up there, too, would be really nice. I think we will do that. Let's go over here. Let's get our pair of guns ready to move immediately. Let's go and get some sharpshooters. Spread these guys out. We're going to have the saber cap. We're going to have some saber cap back there, too. And we're going to put some other saber cab on this flank. I'm going to put the general here in charge in the middle. Let's do two. Uh, and then these main line infantry are going to be one. Okay, so it's a little long of a line. So we're going to do the same thing. We're going to do the same thing we did in that previous battle. Because he has a lot of melee inventory, I want to make sure that we can we can fire. I want to make sure that he comes into this wedge, and wherever he engages, it's one of these units, they can each support each other. So this guy could fire over here, this guy could fire here or here, and this guy could fire in here. They can all mutually support each other. That's what this formation's for. Makes a little bit of a it's it's kind of long. It's a little bit of a long line. I can I can actually even probably keep some reserves. I don't think I need everybody here. They call this this is actually a Roman formation. They call this the Quincooks. I'll actually keep some troops right here. Quincooks. Quin Quincooks. It's, it's hard to pronounce. We're gonna go and take these guys in the back. We're gonna turn them off of fire a will. And we're going to set this first formation to not fire at will. Well, not, not at least the guys in the back. We're going to have some saber cap. I might even move these saber cap to the trees. I do like that, actually. That's a good idea. Are you guys hidden? Yes, you are. So the General Satamoto is right here. So the artillery are going to come up here. Sharpshooters are going to come up here into the front. I know the Shogatai are going to come out here. So are the cavalry. The cavalry will come after us. And our saber cap will be hiding here in the back. Oh, so he spawned way over here. Ooh, that's a little bit of a problem, isn't it? Okay. He spawned a little bit more to the left than I would have preferred. It's not terrible, though. These guys are still hidden. I can actually probably just move this formation a little bit. Why don't we just move it a little bit like that? That actually works out really well. I actually do really like that. We're going to have these sharpshooters. And then we're going to have the pair of guns up on this little this little hill. Oh, that's that's excellent. I like that. Yeah, actually, that looks really good. I really like that. These men are hidden. These guys are actually not in the line of sight of the enemy. And he has to assault me because he attacked. So he's going to come after me. This is an excellent battle position. I love this. This is going to be really good for us. He's going to organize his troops, but these are all... He's got the Shogatai here. These Shogatai are melee inventory. They're not spear inventory, so... We could probably charge them with saber cabs and do just fine. I don't actually think he's got much over here, so we're gonna go ahead and take these uh, these sharpshooters. We're gonna put these guys here. These guys are resistant to uh, morale shocks, and they have good stamina. That's right. So these parrot guns are gonna be ready to go. They're not as good as Armstrong guns, but they'll do the job. They'll do the job just fine. Oh, yeah. And now we wait. In fact, I might even move up a little more. Let's move up a little more. Just a smidge. Ooh. 
We want to target those cav. Uh, either the cav or some important... Did he spot these guys? He might have spotted these dudes. Let's be ready to charge him. No, I think he actually did not spot those men. I don't know if we're going to catch this bow key, will we? Maybe. Come on, guys. Come on, guys. Fire! You fuckers, what are you doing? Fire! Fire into the back of those motherfuckers! There we go, Jesus, I was waiting for that. Holy shit. We should shatter those bow key. We should be just fine now. I was like waiting for those dudes to fire. Damn. Ooh. Yeah, their bows don't do a lot of damage, believe it or not. Oh shit. Okay, we're about to be charged with these men. Fuck, I did not see these guys. Holy shit! Those bow catchy or those bow key took took out our sharpshooters. My god. No, don't charge my artillery. Oh, we just got in there barely, man. We barely made it. Damn. Hmm. Who's important here? Let's see. Do they have any? Where are those damn Shogatai, man? I can even target the general himself, but. I feel like targeting somebody else would be a little more better. Like, well. All right, let's do it. Yeah, we have explosive shells. Shra we have shrapnel shot. Kills on. He's got no spear troops over here. He's got Bokachi. So let's actually go ahead and put our put our cab over here. Let's be ready to charge those Shogatai if I can get it. The enemy has hidden units, sir. Oh, where? We got Bokachi there. Hidden units, where? They have no spear troops on this flank? Wow, yeah, none. Alright, if they're gonna do that, I'll I'll take the opportunity and I'll exploit it. Oh shit! Whoa, what was that? Were those fire arrows? Holy crap. Yeah, those are fire arrows. Wow, look at that, man. Those are fire arrows. That's gnarly. It's kind of cool. Uh, we are kicking these Shogatai's ass. They're really ineffective. They're, they're just not, not doing a good job. Yeah, I want to target those Bokachi. Those guys are like, I want to kill those. I want those guys dead. Holy crap, dude. We're just killing these guys. You can tell he's going to stop firing, actually. Yarkachi, you're engaged? Sugar tire coming in. The general's automato's going down. He's pretty much screwed. Ooh! -hoo. Those damn Kisho Ninja are throwing some, uh. 
You bastards are throwing some like grenades at us. Check it out. Okay, how's the inventory doing? No, the you know what? The line inventory is doing just fine. The Shogatai, yeah, we're not doing too good. It probably could be better. Probably could be better. We taking some hits here. Let's get some fire into the back of those men. Nope, we broke we broke their entire force. I didn't even have to use these cav, actually. Believe it or not. That was a decisive victory. We might have to fire into our own men here. Nope, looks like that cavalry charge did it. Okay, good job. Uh, let's actually go ahead and run the, run down the, mess, the rest of these men. Damn, they, 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 yeah, they, you know what? These paraguns, they do a really good job. They do a really good job. Very, very accurate. Very accurate fire. Let's get down the rest of these guys. Beautiful. Killed a lot of dudes. These I mean these are all levy troops anyway, so. What was I what was I really expecting? I was expecting to lose. Dude, look at these corpses, damn. And then there was a cavalry engagement here. Beautiful stuff, man. Shogun 2 is such a gorgeous game. This game is stupidly good. Close victory, my ass. Close victory, my ass. We killed. We lost 755 to kill 3,000. That is, how is that close? Who got the most kills? Dude, those parrot guns. Look at this. 393 kills on those parrot guns. 169 here, and then, dude, our Saber Cav did the most damage by far. Our Sharpshooters and our Line Inventory did very well. Damn. That's pretty gnarly. That's That makes me really happy, actually. It makes it means that our army compositions are doing good. We, we could do better, though. I'm concerned if we get into melee. Uh, to fellow foe, eliminate any general in battle. We get Lord of War, plus two morale for lane units. Sweet. Thanks, man. I'll take it. So let's retake this, this recruitment. This is a recruitment structure, actually. What? We lost line of a tree here? God damn it. Alright, whatever. Okay, we're making about 7,200 now. It's pretty good. Pretty good stuff. Um, what is this port? Yeah, we still got a little while for these ships. Might as well just send over... I guess I don't need to recruit any more line of a tree. I'll send one guy over here. Perfect. Those parrot guns will do just fine. Sharpshooters did very well. Dude, these are some veteran units, man. That improved accuracy is really helping us out. Okay. So now what I want to do is definitely when this military port is good, and as well as this military port over here is ready to go in two turns, we need to just build some ships. And the first thing we need to do is take out these islands. And the second thing we need to do is get a damn army over here. If we can get them all the way to Sagami over here, we need to invade. Probably, I'm probably going to need to send two or three stacks. To be fair, I think that's what's going to be necessary. Um, this this force hopefully is adequate, but you never know. They have a lot of of um, a lot of melee infantry. We need to have some way to repel them in melee combat. Our melee defense here is only three. Melee attack is five. That's really not good. So we may have to work on that. Anything else we can improve here? Um, this would this would be nice if we improve that. The, they're actually not really messing around with these provinces anymore. Financial districts over here, although in unrest is an issue. We have a lot of modernization here that's becoming a problem. So I should definitely work on probably... I mean, getting some geisha would be nice. Um, we get superior armor now because this iron works. We get superior armor. This gunsmith is gnarly, dude. 20 accuracy of all units recruited in this province. That applies, I'm, I'm assuming, to artillery as well. 
So literally, all of your artillery are just ridiculous. They're ridiculously accurate. Uh, but an armor too, plus four armor would be really nice. But I don't know. I feel like with, with gun troops, armor does not really play a role. It just doesn't. It doesn't play enough of a role. You know. Um, revolver cavalry are beast. Revolver cavalry are really good in this game. Yeah, okay. No, we're doing good. I like this. We're we're making we're making our way. This is gonna be a military report most likely. Um Yeah, I'm I like this. This is this is a good campaign. Um we're making our way. We're gonna be doing okay, I think. I wanna get a craft workshop here. As long as we don't get any unrest. As long as we can avoid unrest. That's that's fine with me. If we can avoid unrest, I'll I'll take it. Let's build that port there since I have some money anyway, so all right guys, I'm gonna go ahead and take a break here and uh I will see you guys in the next episode. Thank you so much. For watching, as always, please make sure to like, subscribe, and comment. Maybe check out Patreon, and I'll see you guys very soon. Thanks so much.